All right, thank you, Scott. Well, you know, it is not often when you hear doctors use the word miraculous to describe a new treatment, but that is exactly what Rochester doctors are calling a new way to treat fractures that's in the works. It's a story you'll only see on 8 Tonight. To look at Trudy Bales of Rochester, you would never know she broke her pelvis. I couldn't turn without hurting the hip, so, so that was uh, a major adjustment and it was extremely painful. It left her in a wheelchair for a few weeks until her surgeon at Highland Hospital gave her a drug called Fortio. It's already on the market to treat osteoporosis. There had been a lot of research in using this medication for uh, fracture healing. However, the doses in the animal trials were significantly higher than what we could give patients safely. But when they lowered the dose to minor amounts and the results, well, they were miraculous. Trudy was able to walk within weeks. Within uh, four, four weeks, I was up and around uh, with aid of a, you know, a walker. And I guess if I hadn't been on that, it would have been sometimes two months or longer. You give it to yourself across your belly, where you have, most of us have at least an inch to pinch. The drug actually stimulated the stem cells in her pelvis to fuse together faster, speeding up the natural healing process. And that's where we think this drug has had its benefit by pushing those same bone building cells to make bone. Just two years into a four year study, Rochester doctors are looking for more volunteers like Trudy. The hope is that this drug will not only be approved for pelvis fractures, but one day also used to treat other kinds of bone breaks as well. In many ways, it's miraculous because it added another tool to our toolbox. It's an option that we didn't have before. Now, to give you kind of an idea of how enthused they are about this, you know, typically when they do a study like this, if, if more than half of patients do well on it, they think that's a great thing. 90% of patients wow. on this did very well like Trudy. They were able to walk. They were able to, you know, not be wheelchair bound. Yeah, we think how common these kinds of situations are. It has amazing applications across the board. Absolutely. So. Six million of them in the U.S. every year. Five percent of those then never really fully heal. There is a number that the U of R would like you to call if you know somebody who might be able to participate in this study. It is 341-9302. All right. Thanks, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm.